Hi, my name is Dale Maley. We're going to talk about an interesting little project today. And it basically boils down to what do you think is fastest for the marble? Going down just a straight incline ramp or going through a series of curves as shown in this picture? I first uh, heard about this project when I got the October-November issue, 2023 issue of Woodcraft Magazine. And you can see the picture on the right. And they've got a straight ramp and then a curved ramp. And the question is, uh, which one's the fastest for the marble to go down, the straight or the curved? And when I researched it, I found out this was an interesting math problem that was not really solved until about 1700. Now this pattern was designed for the smaller 5 8 diameter marbles. And when I made my first marble game several years ago, I used the standard 5 8 marbles. But since then, I've switched over. I like the much bigger 1 inch diameter marbles for all my marble games. So I needed to redesign this one to accommodate the 1 inch diameter marbles. I also added a built in starting gate and to let you start both marbles at the same time. You can do it with your fingers, it's a little awkward. Or some people in videos, they take a pencil and they hold both of them back and then they raise the pencil up. I thought, why not just design that in to the mechanism? I use a free drafting program called SketchUp in all my projects. And here you can see uh, my version of this game or model in SketchUp. Um, I decided I'm going to use maple tracks, that's a light yellow color. And then for the two outside pieces and the center divider, I'm going to use white oak, and I'll stain it brown. And that'll give a nice color contrast between the oak and the maple. Now the final model will actually have quite a bit of wood in it, and it can be pretty heavy. So on the two uh, track pieces, the straight one and the curved, I drilled a lot of holes in there to reduce the weight of the model. I use what's called Forstner bits to drill those holes. And since uh, there's sides glued onto them, you'll never see the holes. Now before I do the final glue up and clamping on a project, I always make sure everything fits okay first. And that's what I'm doing in this photograph. You can see the two clamps that are um, holding everything together. Here's a photograph showing the final glue up and clamping of the assembly. The only thing it's not shown here is the starter. Um, gate which I built after I had it clamped up. This SketchUp drawing shows the starter bar that I added up at the top and it just rotates uh, back and forth so you can set it in the down position, put, drop your two marbles in, then when you're ready just rotate it and it releases the two marbles at exactly the same time. And here's the finished model and everyone always wants me to include my coffee mug in there for scaling purposes so you can see how big the model is. I don't remember but it's about 16 inches long roughly. And here's the finished model without the coffee cup. And the model's basically finished so now we're ready to run it and see which track is the fastest. Boy, that was pretty fast. Let's slow this down to about one quarter speed and watch it again. So if we look at this graph, <coughs> excuse me, it turns out the slowest is the straight inclined lamp, uh, ramp shown at the top. Let's say that you dropped the ball straight down and it had a curve at the bottom and then it went to the right. That turns out to be the second fastest path. But the very fastest one is the curved line shown in the red, which is what we simulate on this model. Wikipedia has an explanation for this curved shape. Not sure I could pronounce this word. Brachistochrone 
curve. And uh, it says uh, the words came from ancient Greek, which mean the shortest time. And uh, the problem was first posed to Johann Bernoulli back in 1696. Then it was solved uh, within uh, a year or two later. So, some closing thoughts on this project. I was surprised, actually, the curved path was faster than the straight ramp. But I was really surprised how much faster it really was, as you could see in the um, full speed or the quarter speed videos. Anyway, it should make a really nice model for the grandkids to play with, probably some adults too. So, in summary, this short video explains how to build a wood model to demonstrate which type of ramp is really the fastest, a straight line or a curved line. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thanks again.